Mm -hmm. It's still a woman. These are all very female perspective, female trauma oriented movies and trying to make a sense of self in a world that has been totally, uh, that where their personal world has been totally fucked. Ex yeah. Machina has a lot to do with sort of the science fiction and the identity of what it means to be human or the machine aspect and our relationship to men. Annihilation, of course, um, what's his name? The, the uh, uh, Oscar Isaac, of course, is the husband that's gone missing. Uh, we're going into the veil, right, of this uh, alien world, the shimmer. And of course, what that does was it mean a to be great human? Film. Great film. The and then are... she meets her anima, animus. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. she meets her her sort of like alien tulpa like animus. Uh, yeah. And then we don't know who it, it comes out of it until the very end. But it has this question of what it means to be human and what it means to be like, you know, we're not our former selves. Men has the same thing here. So I have a gut feeling that as much of the we, we were just shown the garnish as all movie yes. trailers are. This movie is going to be about a female journalist. And it's going to be in about the world of MAGA chuds. And, well, not even just the world of MAGA chuds. Probably a dead husband. Yes. Or probably a husband who's serving. Yep. And we're now going to get a really interesting examination of how does a woman deal with a political environment where technically women are usually secondary. Mm -hmm. I mean, in wars, you know, we can say all women most affected, but you know, most no, of the time, men are war fought by men. Yeah. Well, yeah, wars fought by men. And unless war happens on your own soil, heaven forbid, then of course there's the issue of, you know um casualties casualties death um assault comfort women oh, etc oh, also trying... this is in the backdrop of the ukraine war as well we should but this mention. so yeah there's that too because so i was she... scrolling being like the british have really gone crazy against russia so, she, so she's going off in this film right and she's talking about you know the story has to be told i have to do this every time i would go into the war zone she says in the line i i feel like i would you know it would be my last or that i would you know tell the world the proper story mm -hmm. and so like i feel like probably her husband and again I i'm speculating probably her husband died in the opening days of that war mm -hmm. and she's been trying to tell the story and try to make sense of why he believed in the things that he did yeah and she's got to deal with her own trauma leading other journalists who are like listen man they kill journalists in the capital they don't do x y and z and encountering how does a woman respond in wartime and how on earth does a woman deal with like i, I this movie is going to be far more female coded than I, ex than I think people are expecting. And uh, if her last, if her last three movies, cause I think dev is also, I haven't seen devs, but it's also about a woman. I imagine just mm. based on the cover art here, that this is going to be very female centric. Oh yeah. And this is going to be incredibly focused on, and I mean, he's only like, he's only 50 something. He's born in 1970. You mm. know, I just think that we're going to get, the female journalist perspective, how do women respond to the trauma of war and how would that affect if the greatest quote unquote superpower on earth decided to kill itself tomorrow? Yeah. And I feel like we're going to get that. That will be the more th fleshed out through line, but everyone. They're going to focus on the culture war aspect. Exactly. Of exactly. And I, I said this, and, and I, said this, I, said this fantasy I said this, fantasy I said this, I said this in a dozen other chats is, is, is that, there's probably going to be a deeper take to this, mm -hmm. and Alex Garland's original message will not mean jack shit. Because it will just be about the libtards them. imagine themselves that they're out of power, that the maggots and fascists are going to take over. Yeah, and and yeah, that's what it's going to be about. I, I mean, really, that, that that's probably what this movie is going to. Everyone's going to. It's like the. You know the the meme about like the 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 Barbie the, or a... the guy looking at the book and he's like wow you know this is awful and then he misses the message that flies over his head yeah yeah this movie will probably be like that um, but Alex Garland decided to write this tale in the thing that everyone talks about in 2023 mm -hmm. he's like let let's go back a few months ago when Trump was interviewed by Tucker Carlson do you think they're going to kill you do you think there's going to be a civil war well Tucker I don't know I mean these people are evil but uh... you know. I trust so, the American people. <laughs> I, I I feel like, yeah, whatever whatever female story that Garland wants to tell will be very missed up until people see the movie. Yes. Yes. Exact 100% proved. That's 100% correct. But I think the point about journalism, another point is that journalism simply cannot exist the way it did before in hyper reality with hyper media because narrative function and interpretation even in front of our own eyes in terms of digital recording is more important than anything. So this like concrete analysis of like a journalist getting out a story, exposing corruption, that leading to material change that can never happen because of course people are going to interpret in every which way the Ukraine yeah. war. Look at that. Like, you know, do I mention Kambucha, right? Like 
it's it's um oh but of course i'm genocide denial right like it's the point being is that that old school model of journalism that people like walter Lippmann were kind of like predicting was going to go out the wayside it's like that's gone now because people you can expose power but there will all be there will always be the vouches of the world expo like basically taking the line hook line and sinker the state department line and everything so it doesn't matter right but that's a great astute observation like maybe um Maybe Kristen Dunst's character can discover that her husband was a libtard and that, you know, dying in the war gave her the ick. Who knows? I, <laughs> I don't think I I don't think that it'll be because like Alex Garland, like his his movies aren't bad. No, I, they're great. Like I, I look at I look at the films that I've seen, whether it's from 28 Days Later, uh, Dread, uh, Sunshine, Ex Machina and Annihilation and Men, which I watched last night after, you know, to prep for this discussion, because it's been said he Garland has said that this movie is a companion piece to men. 